Hello old friends, I am your friendly wizard Gandalf. Some of you know me by the name Debug. And today we are going to talk about The Hobbit, a game released by Beam Software on Melbourne House and Tansoft in 1983. It also came with the original The Hobbit book. So, what I'm going to talk to today is based on some research, recent research. Uh, so this game has always been a, a problem to play because it is very, very slow. And somebody asked on a different source forum about the fluid field routines. And so I started doing some experimentations, uh, checked how some other programs were made, and found out that there were no reason for the Hobbit fluid field to be that slow. And so I digged a bit in the code and saw that it was relatively easy to fix. The code itself is not bad, but they were so compressed in memory that they did not have any room uh, spare for uh, doing any improvement. Uh, and the only solution we found was to basically make a disk version, because when you have a disk system on the Auric, you have access to 16 additional kilobytes of, of RAM, where normally the disk operating system is located, but technically the Hobbit does not need to do any additional loading later. All the pictures are vectorial and drawn real time. Uh, so we can disable the DOS and uh, then use the memory for what we want. Uh, so I made a quick hack version and it did indeed go much faster and then I added uh, some things. So just so you know what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you the Hobbit version 1.0, uh, which is a tape version. So please wait while the Hobbit loads. And this is typically uh, the way the, the program works, which is everything is encoded as uh, vectors and uh, some locations are run with lines and then some of the stuff is filled with a field routine. And the game is uh, real time, totally interactive. And uh, you type commands, the characters like uh, Thorin and Gandalf moves around, Gandalf sometimes uh, steals your map, and uh, wh which is a very complex game, uh, which is why they even released a, a guide on how to play the, the Hobbit with a lot of hints. And you can't just follow a, a simple solution because, well, it changed over time. And so here is what we mean by this game is very slow. So I'm going to start the version 1.5. And so you can see the, the intro I added, so the picture converted from uh, the original picture of the menu to the smaller uh, music. And the game starts, so you can see there is a different uh, char set. Uh, the picture itself was much faster to, to appear. Um, and the other picture on the top is still drawing. So um, let's see. Uh, so open the chest, Gandalf opens the door, so now we can go to the east, uh, can go to the north, uh, to go to the same location. So we are in the Trolls clearing, and then we go north again, and then we start. And the top one just finished. So I guess that gives you a good idea, so I paused the two videos, a good idea of the speed difference. So why was uh, the Hobbit so slow? So let's bring VS Code and a disassembly uh, of, uh, of the game, which was done with uh, Auricutron. Um, and specifically, so you can see, put pixel, and then there is this function which I call mul40, but which is actually uh, there to, given x and y coordinates passed in uh, addresses 30 and 31, what it does is that it computes the screen address uh, where the byte containing the pixel is located. And to do that, it uses uh, increment loops, uh, add 40, add 40, add 40, add 40, to find the right sky lines. And then uh, the second part compute a divide by six on a modulo six uh, by iterating potentially up to 240 pixels uh, to find the location. And then 
here it loads the byte, returns it in A, and this is used by the put pixel on the fluid field routine, which is why it is slow both uh, to draw the lines and to fill the, to fill the content. So this routine, as you can see, starts at address 7A22. And the solution was relatively easy, is that um, I could just replace it by this code. So you can see it also starts at 7A22, but instead of doing all this complicated uh, convoluted code, what it's doing is that it just uses one table, which points directly to the skyline based on the Y value, which we got from the 31 uh, location, uh, that we store in 38 and 39, like in the original code, which will we use to, to fetch uh, also like in the original code. And instead of iterating for doing the div6 on mod6, we also use two tables. So basically, instead of doing potentially up to 128 uh, addition by 40, one per scan line, and up to 240 uh, iteration horizontally, we just do four lookups. And that's all. There is nothing else. And here are these tables here. Uh, and as I said earlier, there were no, no room in memory. Uh, so I had to find some location in uh, the top memory, which are not used by the game. So the game does not use a circle function. So I erased uh, the circle uh, location uh, with these two tables. And there is a code from the for, for next uh, basic instruction, which is not used either, where I put the two other table. And <coughs> at the top of the game, I patch the game to call something which I attached at the end, uh, which first recopy the entire ROM content. Um, so if you have an, the Auric memory map, um, the top area here, the, the ROM also has 16, 16 kilobytes under, which is uh, the RAM. Uh, and by changing the value in 314, which is the IO port, you can either make it access as ROM or access as RAM. So basically, I'm just copying the 16 kilobytes, read in ROM, write in RAM, read in ROM, write in write, uh, using the same address because they are on top of each other. Uh, then I use a location I said earlier uh, to, uh, to patch uh, the coordinates, so this table here which are actually in modifiable ROM. And then I patch the Hobbit by copying the small routine I saw uh, I showed earlier uh, from the death uh, loader into the, the code itself. And then restore interrupts and jump to the back of the game. And that's all for the for the food field. Uh, then there is the intro. So the intro just use a small uh, B a basic uh, file which is used as a batch file basically, uh, which calls some um, load the char set, uh, display the blinking loading message, load the intro, and when we are done with uh, loading the intro, load the Hobbit, uh, which is a game. Uh, and the intro itself is made of a bit and blob uh, from uh, previous uh, intros, like the MYM players on pushing the envelope, which is where I reuse uh, uh, the unroll uh, apparition. And here you have title picture and, uh, and music. Uh, to build all that, I have a bit complicated uh, batch file, uh, which converts the title picture to a source code, convert the font to an actual tape file, so it will be added uh, to the to the DSK, uh, I do that because uh, instead of integrating the the font into the executable, that will make the loading uh, text not being redefined. So by having that as a file on the floppy, I can load it at, on startup. So even before the intro, the loading uh, is already displayed with a with a fancy uh, character. Um, let, let me restart that so you can see a bit more. And that's uh, pretty much uh, all I had to do. Uh, so the intro is compiled directly with XR. Uh, 
the patch file is also directly built with uh, with XR, and I use copy plus to put together. Uh, no, sorry, here yeah. to put together the obit.com, which is the original game, plus the patch together in a single uh, patched obit uh, bin file. And here you can see that. Uh, this picture here appeared almost immediately while here you could see it draw every single pixel and just for the lol uh, yes a final draw of the picture so basically most people never passed this uh, this area of the game because uh, just arriving here is is very pa very painful it just takes forever uh, to, to go there. So, what's next? Um, the next big problem. So, I released this version as version 1.5. Uh, I put that on the forum. Uh, and basically, that's as far as I can go uh, safely using the, the basic ROM. Uh, the next step is to implement the save and load uh, save and load routines. Problem is, I disable uh, Cedric by copying the, the ROM, um, which means I can't access any of the Cedric uh, load save code, uh, which means I don't have access to the layout of the floppy. Uh, so I could add some uh, custom code to directly access sector-based or track-based, uh, but then that means I need to find some arbitrary location on the floppy, uh, which may be difficult. Um, and that will limit the possible uh, other extensions. Another possibility would be to convert all that to use the floppy builder, uh, because then we get full 16 kilobyte access uh, to, to to the game and we can uh, do everything we want but then that means we need to make sure that the game actually runs uh, so we need to implement uh, the keyboard polling uh, timings uh, on whatever else uh, the game uh, the game is using probably not much uh, on then the advantage that we actually get most of the 16 kilobyte free which means we could have something like uh, some sound effects, uh, maybe uh, uh, music, um, some uh, proper help, uh, maybe with some uh, list of uh, manual uh, keywords. Um, so yeah, um, I'm not quite sure wha what's next after that. Uh, so I committed all that in the on the SVN repository of uh, Defense Force on uh, OSDN.net. Uh, you can also find it on. Uh, uh, on the forum thread, uh, on the forum, um, and you can download the version 1.5 and try it. Uh, I did not try it on Auric One. Uh, in theory, it should work. If it does not, then I mean, it's just a matter of, of uh, patching things. Uh, the one thing that may have to be tested is um, this thing here, which is a key uh, key check. Uh, I use. Uh, this address in uh, in RAM to the F, which supposedly is the same on Auric One on Auric Atmos, uh, but if it's not, I mean we just have this instruction to change. And I think that's uh, all for this uh, this video. And uh, so yeah, I hope that was interesting. And I have no idea uh, how far I'm going after that because this thing takes a lot of time. Uh, but now that the code is released, anyone can actually add their own patch. All I ask people is to uh, update the patch notes uh, there at the top uh, and to do it clearly uh, explaining wh what they do not just uh, hack code around uh, make it so it's actually a tutorial that people can use so I, I try to comment reasonably um, and uh, yeah Pl if you don't know what to do tomorrow you can download the game uh, I will put the link on the description uh, and uh, yeah, have fun. Bye bye.